the phone. Do you see the phone right there? I wonder if people can guess who's on the phone with me. Well, speak mystery guess. Who are you? Hello once again, and you're also on the Prince Magnum channel, where hot riding and romance do coexist. I'm your host, Prince Magnum, and this is a special off-the-chain crossover. How you doing today, Bert? I'm doing quite all right, my friend. I, I got a co-host here, and people have already been introduced to her uh, on Bert TV, and we'll introduce her to uh, Maverick Nation. The Bert heads have already been introduced to her. I don't know if Maverick Nation really know about this, but I have a pet now. Lucy is her name. She's a cat. And I got our camera right now. She's like, get that damn thing off me. You know, but, you know, so Lucy is my new cat. Now, Alexis Vanderhoff, not her real name, but I have to change the right. character names for Bird TV. If we were just on the Prince Rider channel, I'd say fuck it and say her real name. Excuse my language on that one. Right, but, right, right. Understandable. So Lexus Vanderhoff, my caregiver, you know, her sister was the story room behind Lucy. Playing on my channel, but now on Prince Madams, real quick. Uh, you know, her sister had had her. She kind of like adopted herself into her family. Lucy did, and uh, so they couldn't get rid of her, but she was start she had to be kept in a basement because she didn't get along with the other animals. But she was hissing and snapping at everyone because she didn't like being in the basement whatever else was upstairs. And they got children, so they can't have that. You know? Right. So they were looking for a home part. The sister saw the video on Bird TV where I talked about Belle and asked Alexis Vanderhoff, uh, not her real name again, we have to stress out for the Nation. Right. Right. Uh, I'm a, I, since doing Bird TV, I recently became a boring game Christian a little over a year ago. And uh, you know, even though I still do some of the shock value, I have toned it down some. And uh, because of my Christianity, going from a Buddhist from a Christian, I can't call her Lucifer. Mm. So, because as Prince Madden was going to find the email I sent a couple days ago, because of the Beatles song Lucy and Sky Diamond, There you go. For the Sgt. Pepper album, folks. That's correct. That's okay. correct. Let me ask you this. Okay. How did, how did the karaoke contest go yesterday? Well. Let's get right into the nitty gritty. All right. Yeah, let's, let's not beat around the bush. Let's get at it. Um, obviously, it should be no surprise. I, I had predicted that it would be by the third preliminary round that I would, that I would get in. My prediction was absolutely correct. And actually, uh, the prediction was pretty much the third round on our cross-match crossover. You said third round, you know, you're in. Right. Um, again, I've already done the video. Uh, basically, uh, I just haven't loaded it yet. Uh, so, and, and please don't wait for me. Just go ahead and load this video, uh, you know, for the bird heads. Because I know the Maverick Nation will also watch as well. Um... I, we're having equipment issues, but basically, in a nutshell, I predicted that by the third round, I was going to get in, okay? And what I did not predict is how I got in, okay? They were taking five contestants a night, uh, every night that they, that they run the, the contest for the preliminaries. Uh, there was only four contestants last night, and the reason being was... Basically, all, uh, all the ones that either wanted in are in, and a lot of the ones that didn't get in gave up. So, I'm wondering how uh, round four is going to look. Round four probably isn't going to have a, any hardly any contestants at all. So, I'm in the, semi, uh, the semifinals. Now, again, for the Maverick Nation and for the Birdheads, please understand I'm doing this to promote my channel. 
Um, the, the Prince Magnum channel is slowly progressing with this contest. We went and we, you know, in a few weeks, I mean, yeah, it's not as much as is if I was doing a car show or going out and beating the, the mean streets like I have for quite a long while. But it is more than what I had before. Um, I have had to retool off the chain uh, a little bit because um, because of this. I mean, we're now include for off the chain. We're now including music. Uh, there's still going to be comedy and kind of you know that ad lib stuff, you know the goofiness and things like that that I that Bert and I enjoy doing. And and for Bert for Bert and Bert's you know crossovers with Bert TV but now it has to be retooled a little bit to include music and it may even go so far as to include uh, my stuff as an amateur magician uh, we haven't gotten that far but we're getting there and possibly politics also mm. politics will be involved with uh, with still in your face uh, in your face it covers everything uh, everything else um, obviously, do-it-yourself budget hot rodding should always be at the forefront of the Prince Magnum channel because, let's face facts, that's what I love doing. Uh, on top... Oh, Prince, don't you know the Survivor romance is my favorite? You're such a romantic dude. He's a dream, lady. Well, you know, and see, surviving romance right now is kind of on the back burner. Uh, and it's not because I don't have time for it. It's because Princess Faye has basically asked me to slow down on it a little bit that is another subject for yet uh, an upcoming episode we'll get to that later on but surviving romance has slowed down a little bit um, which really it, the design behind surviving romance is when I'm not working on cars I can still make videos you know uh, when you know like down here in st. Francis County we're under a severe uh, flash flood warning I'm not going to be working on Project Spirit in this, okay? It's just not going to happen. And I'll play around in the snow in Project Spirit. I'll play around on dry weather. Wet weather ain't happening. <clears throat> Pavement is too unpredictable in wet weather, so we won't we won't do that. Yeah, and I know where you live in Bob Terra. Bob Terra's a, you know, rough fight. I know that for the first time I saw the parking lot where I live, we won't say where I live. I'm in. Right. But see, the thing of it is, is that, um, you know, damn it, I forgot where I was going. But anyhow, um, you're talking about the flash flood. And that's right. Yeah. So, work. so I mean, I need plenty of content to keep the channel going uh, when I'm not working on cars. Which, uh, one of the next videos that I'll be doing on, you know, for uh, the, the mini-series, Performance Not Included, um, we're going to be going over carburetor technology um, and, and that sort of thing from the 1970s into the 80s, uh, which is, I mean, it, 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 it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting because I actually have a carburetor that's, uh, that's right here in the office. Uh, that's actually left over from the 60s. It's amazing what I pick up on my travels, <laughs> you know. Well, you know, I'm a relic from the 60s. I was born in 1968. Yeah. Well, technically, I'm a relic from the late 70s, you know. 79, yeah. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a vintage model, and so are you. Yep. Well, here, here, here's one that... There, there you go. Well, if you will, it, you know, 
you know, since we're talking about you know the contest and everything, most people would find this, might find this interesting. Um, in the year, uh, in 1979, I was born on August 7th. On August 6th, it's recorded that the last disco in the United States closed its doors. I just missed it. I just missed the disco era. Started a new era. The punk rock phase. Yeah. yeah we're yep. Which. Which is appropriately done because you know that's a tail. I thought it was a spider on me. <laughs> but now I'm sure I'm sure both uh, both viewers of uh, of Bird TV and you know of the Prince Magnum channel are very curious right now. Um, what exactly happened at the contest itself? Obviously, what videos are going to be coming out uh, to kind of show what happened? The Prince Magnum is wearing the leisure suit. Actually, I was I was wearing uh, I was wearing a suit and tie. I had uh, you all have to remember when you're doing a Punisher T-shirt. I didn't do a Punisher T-shirt this time. I'm gonna faint. Uh. Right, right. What basically happened in a nutshell was I was I knew I was gonna have to switch venues, uh, and I mentioned this in the video that I had already did. The problem was is that basically the Kiss music. Either you're a KISS fan, and if you're a KISS fan, you are a diehard KISS fan. Yeah, you'll like other bands, but that's your favorite band, okay? That's how I am about the Beatles. Exactly, okay? But I understand, because as I said on last crossover, I don't think it got on my channel, but it was on yours. I was a KISS fan, you know, before I was a Beatles fan. Exactly. And that being said, if you're not a KISS fan, you don't get it, Okay. So that's kind of the way it is. Either you. That's a group, though. Yeah, you know that's the thing with Kiss. Either you get it or you don't get it, and that's exactly. That's how it is with the Beatles. That's how it is with the Beatles. It, it yeah. You, you wouldn't believe how many people don't get the Beatles. Exactly. Yeah. Well, more so today than it used to be. So that being said. Even some of the generation that grew up with the Beatles, they don't get the Beatles because they were never into it. Exactly. So that's the problem. Basically, um, I had to select a singer, a singer-songwriter type that people could get. So that's exactly what I did. Um, I switched over to doing um, Abba, Dancing <laughs> Queen. No, no, no. Uh, I, I actually. I don't know who it is, but I'm just fucking with you. Of course. Drum roll, please. Neil Diamond. I switched over to singing Neil Diamond. Now, true fans of the Prince Magnum channel will know that I, there are a couple videos where I had already sung a Neil Diamond song. So this so is nothing not new. You, they're not calling you a sellout, do you think? Well, no. At, at this point, it's a contest, okay? You have to do whatever. You have to do, folks, whatever it takes to win. Which is exactly yeah. what I did, Okay. And, and to be honest with you, I mean, a lot of the stuff that I that I do on stage anyways, when I when I do Kiss songs, the truth of it is, is I've been doing a lot of those songs for years, okay? I mean, not as long as the actual band, but I've been doing them for years. Uh, the first time I was How on... How do they feel doing the songs as long as they have? And, and, you'll, and if you talk to Kiss... I mean, yeah, they don't mind doing them. They do them for the fans that they've had for all these years. But in truth and reality of it all, they like doing their other stuff too. They prefer to do their other stuff because it's on the album that they just cut. You know, that sort of thing. So that being yeah. said, the truth of it is at this point, um, you know, the truth of it is is that I love doing the Kiss songs, but at some point, I want to do other stuff, too. And I have done other stuff. There's a song by Styx that I do. Uh, there's actually a song that I've done by Journey. Uh, I've done... You know, I've done one by the Monkees, which... You ever done the Beatles? Um, no, but I've, I've considered it. I've considered it. Now, all that being said, 
I mean, here I am, I'm on stage, and I'm doing the same stuff that I have done all these years. So by you round... You do the Sky of Diamonds for Lucy the Cat. Actually, by the Beatles, I have honestly thought about doing... Um, uh, Let it be, hey Jude, you know, kind of their later stuff, you know, from yeah. after the, you know, and I've thought about doing that, but you know, I just haven't. Um, all that being said, I'm still, you know, uh, there's stuff by uh, there. There's one by Elvis Presley. Well, it isn't exactly by him. It's a remake. It was one of his only remakes, but I have thought about doing it. Uh, he never wrote songs actually per se. Right. And, and in order to get Elvis to do them, that but you have to give me Rise credit. Right. Elvis actually never wrote any of his songs. They're all cover versions in that regard. Sense. Well, I thought about doing his uh, his rendition of Suspicious Minds. You know. Yeah, um, I mean, he never wrote any of them. <laughs> and that's like my way was actually done by Frank Sinatra originally. Right. And so there's a lot of that stuff that I really want to do, but I've been. Uh, but initially, when I got into this contest, it's like, well, this is the stuff that I already know, and I know I could do it well. But by round two, my heart was not in it because, um, like I've I've sung Beth like a couple thousand times now, and I like that song, and I I I still get requests to do it when people know I can sing Kiss, but it's like, my heart's really not in it anymore. Okay? Think how Peter Chris feels. Oh my God, I can imagine how that man feels. But on top of that, on top of that, uh, calling Dr. Love, I've been singing longer than I've been singing Beth. So I, I have, I, I won't say that I've grown to hate that song, but I would say I've grown to dislike it, singing it. Yeah. So when I did those songs in round two, my heart wasn't in it, and I had every right to be eliminated um, in round two. So Princess Faye and I sat down, and uh, well, basically, in you know, if you're watching this video, just know that there's a video explaining this a little bit more in detail. But basically, in a nutshell, I got uh, I had done a version of Neil Diamond's uh, song "Hello Again," and uh, Again, there's ver there's already a couple of versions of me doing that on stage uh, on the Prince Magnum channel. There's another version that's already ready to be loaded. We're having equipment issues getting it loaded, but it is coming forth, okay? Uh, basically, you'll see this video on Burt TV before you actually see that video. Uh, and there's already versions of it up on probably on Facebook and Twitter and all over the damn place now because my camera was not the only one running at that time. Okay? Uh, I saw a Blu-ray cut version of it. I'm just fucking with you. It wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me. But basically, um, a lot of people loved it. And I was told that basically I should do that song. So that's exactly what I did in round three. That was my scored song. So I went there dressed in a suit and tie because if you're going to sing Neil Diamond, you better dress classy, okay? Because Neil Diamond... We have to update people. I don't think it was talked about uh, a lot of this yet on your channel or mine because I kept my mouth shut. Right. For a, for a change. He went, folks, well, not this past Friday, Friday before, which was after... Princess Faye's birthday, I did Hello Again serenade her and bring her up on stage, blah, blah, blah. So he had to bring her back up on stage this time around because all the women were in tears and went gaga, and he got a good crowd response for doing it. Well, uh, that being said, we did not go ahead and film the scored song. There was no need to, okay? Um... There was no need to film it again, okay? It basically, it looked almost, ex it looked nearly identical to the one that I already videoed. So there was no need to redo it. All we did was do ones that I hadn't sung on stage before. My warm-up song was Love on the Rocks by Neil Diamond. And that, 
I wouldn't say I necessarily nailed it, but I didn't do very bad. And it was the very first time I ever performed that song. It was a warm-up, so it didn't matter anyways. Uh, but the crowd response was electric. Um, and it was a small crowd to begin with. That was the, you know, so it was still electric doing that song. That's amazing, okay? So even though I didn't feel I did, you know, top, you know, top drawer on it, I didn't do bad either. Um, but then on top of that, uh, when I went up there, did my scored song, I did it, I did exceptionally well. I will admit I did mess up slightly on one part because Hello Again has, uh, there's two, ver the first two verses are very easy to transpose. And that's exactly what happened in that, you know, that whole thing is I started to transpose them and I caught myself and was able to, you know, get myself straightened out real quick. So it didn't really hurt me. And it wouldn't have mattered anyways because there was only four contestants. But still yet, I still had to make sure that I did the best I could in case more contestants showed up uh, later in the night. Thankfully they didn't, but still yet, if that had become an issue, the fact that I was professional enough to get straightened out in a real hurry, I was okay. Then I did Deuce again, you know, kind of... The contest is over. It's time to just go ahead and kind of mess around and have some fun. My tie came off. My jacket came off. The hat came off. The hair came down. And I got up there and did deuce. I've got already a dozen versions of that one up. You know, so there's no need to do it again. Yeah. So, you know, to film that one again. Yeah, there's no... There, that, you know, that one company still, you know... Screw that one company, okay, that... Keeps trying to lay claim to the work that I'm doing. Fuck them. Hey, first, hang on, real quick. Okay. In other words, it's just repetition. In other words, it's just repetition. In other words, it's just okay. You get the idea. Yeah. You know. Uh, I was fucking. I was trying to be funny. Right. I was gonna say. See what I mean? See what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know. It's contagious. We're both caught, caught it. You're right. So. You know, I went up there, I did it again, and it was, uh, the crowd response was electric. Um, it wouldn't have mattered, I was just messing around anyways. But then for my last song of the night, uh, Princess Faye got a, um, and I, I've got to finish editing, obviously I'm having a little difficulty with new equipment, uh, getting it loaded to YouTube, but as soon as that is eliminated, uh, no problem, okay? <coughs> Well, I'm using a new Apple phone, and we replaced yeah, our Apple old... Phone, and here at Bird TV, we, we despise iPhones. Well, I despise iPhones, but probably for different reasons. But that's the issue that we're having. We have swapped over from our old Android, which did an amazing job at loading YouTube videos, but th this phone will... I can take video off of it, but I can't put it back on, and that is freaking stupid okay uh you know if it can't if it can't transfer back it, it, so for those who like the iphone for youtube purposes it is crap okay it is a crappy phone and i myself do not like the iphone simply because they're made in sweatshops in china huh Which that also may be a thing, you know. But yeah, anyhow, your place because my movie maker don't work. Right. So beyond that scope, um, the other thing that uh, should be pointed out, I did a new song. I won't tell anybody, but basically it was a it was another Neil Diamond song. It was for Princess Bay. I got up there. It wasn't perfect because it was the first time I ever performed it on stage. So it's not going to be perfect. But in the middle of the kind of musical solo, I did slow dance with her a little bit in the middle of that musical solo, and uh, Aww, the, how sweet. It, 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 great crowd response, and I'm sitting there thinking, i got to get better at this song so I can do this again, so it was good, it was solid, it was dead on, and you couldn't have asked for better, it was just like that, you know, um, so I have two more Neil Diamond songs to my repertoire 
but it's going to take a little bit of practice. So that's really the gist of it. So that's pretty much where we're at. Now I am going to have to end this video like here in the next few minutes because me too. Yeah, I'm right there with you. So, but yeah, that's basically I have advanced. I'm in the semifinals. Uh, pretty much videos from here that are loaded to YouTube for off the chain on this contest. It's me practicing, getting ready for the semifinals, which I'm going to try to get on stage at least twice a week, once at the minimum. Um, because uh, I need to be in tip top form, which I need to get in touch with Party Pro because there's a couple of songs that I know I could do very easily without question, bar none. They don't have them. But I know if I ask for them, they can get them. They will purchase them. Yeah, that just totally happened. Um, basically, for here in the office, I used the old, uh, the old camera I was using in Project Spirit. And I'm going to have to go through it or something. I don't know what the heck's wrong with that dang thing. But basically, I'm going to have to go through it and kind of fix it. And it's just one of them things. But, beyond that scope. Uh, basically, if you want to see the rest of that conversation with Burt TV, you'll have to go to Burt TV and uh, watch it. You know, watch it for its entirety. You know, it was about four minutes that was lost. Uh, because my camera quit working. Uh... Pretty much from here, um, it's just me being on stage. I think they're estimating in about a month uh, they're going to start the semifinals. Um, folks, I have to be on my game. Uh, a lot of the people that I faced in the first two rounds, uh, they're going to be there. Okay? And again, everyone that I faced and was accepted into the uh, semifinals before me, they're damn good. Okay? I don't know any other way to say it. They're good. Um, not saying that I'm not good enough to compete with them. I'm saying that I have to be on my game to uh, to outdo these guys uh, and gals. Um, uh, and amazingly enough, let me also reiterate everything that I'm going up. It's not just country. A lot of country, but it's not just country. I'm going up against rock and roll. Uh, I'm going up against uh, alternative rock. Uh, just all various types of, uh, of genres uh, that you see in the American music industry and my work is cut out for me um, because basically I'm bringing um, hard rock of the 70s and uh, some of the 80s and then of course I'm also bringing uh, uh, kind of a folk style rock and roll Neil Diamond and uh, basically I may have to expand into um, other stuff as well. <coughs> um, I'm really going to have to bring the talent on, and uh, it's not going to be an easy run for me, okay? Um, is it worth it? Yes, because I have picked up subscribers, and to the subscribers who have seen me on stage and have subscribed to the Prince Magnum channel, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I do appreciate that very much. Um, right now, YouTube, messing with AdSense again. Uh, unless you have 1,000 subscribers and like 4,000 hours of, of, of watch time, they are not going to pay for your channel. And I have to put myself in a position where people would, you know, basically those who can, uh, when I go to start a Patreon account, they can donate, even if it's a one-time deal only, uh, so we can make the channel progress. Because I'm sure there's a lot of things you would all like me to do with Project Spirit. So that's what this contest is about, is to get my channel out there. Win, lose, or draw, people are beginning to notice the Prince Magnum channel even more. And with it being on social media, uh, because I talk about it on Twitter a little bit here and there. Uh, and I talk about it, um, you know, I tell people where I'm going to be, what I'm doing. It, I mean, this is, this is what it takes, okay? Um, Princess Faye gets on to me all the time. She says I work too much, but in the end, it's worth it, okay? Because, you know, Princess Faye, you know, after her accident, 
I'm going to have, you know, it might, it might be here in the near future. It might be a few years down the road. I'm going to have to take care of my wife, okay? And I don't want to have to be, you know, have to, you know, um, I want to be able to sustain us, you know, um, without government aid. And going through YouTube and things like that, that will make that possible, okay? So that's what this is all about, okay? Making sure that Princess Faye is all taken care of and I can be a stay-at-home husband, take care of her, and don't need nothing from nobody. But that's where we stand. Not easy being one of those super husbands as I refer to it, but that's a subject for surviving romance. All right, as usual, as usual, if you like uh, what we're doing right now, be sure to hit the like button, okay? If you have any positive comments, anything like that, maybe some suggestions to maybe help with the contest, or for the Prince Magnum channel in general, be sure to leave a positive comment in the box below. I always look forward to feedback and always love answering questions from you, the Maverick Nation, or even passer buyers. Okay. On top of that, um, you know, I just I love to hear from you guys. I love to hear from you guys. It always makes my day when all of you say something positive. Um, as you know, and always remember. Even if uh, the even if one of the videos of me being on stage isn't that great, remember I'm doing this sober. I'm going in with ch uh, with 12 years of continuous sobriety and Alcoholics Anonymous into a into a bar and doing this sober. Okay, so any hate you're already peeing on your own shoes. You're gonna be the one looking like a retard, and we're still gonna make fun of you. Okay, so just bear that in mind. You're not only gonna get made fun of. But you're already making fun of yourself. You look like an idiot doing it. Thankfully, no one's bothered doing that. All right. And as usual, as usual, um, get out there and work on a project. Don't care what it is. Just do something with yourself. Idle hands and a creative mind. Just don't make very good bedfellows. Um, if you have a sweetheart, sweep them off their feet. Do something special for them today. Uh, maybe you might take them out and sing karaoke for them. And as always, for all of you out there, all of you, all of you, even even the haters that come on, if no one out there has told any of you that they love you today, Prince Magnum does. And have a happy 24. Thank you.